Hey everyone, this is Scott Moore at Galaxy Comics in Saginaw, Michigan with another quick CGC video. Uh, it's been a while since I posted the last one, but you know, CGC takes four months to get stuff back. I have one little box of uh, customers' books, so there's probably nothing super awesome in there, but I mean, honestly, I can't even remember what's in the box. And then I have another bonus book that I'll open at, after this box, and you probably want to stick around and see that one. Just, you know, because it's fun. Okay, so these were not pre-screened, there's only like 10 books in this box, um, so I don't think it's anything fantastic, it's just stuff that customers sent in because they wanted to. Packing peanuts all over the floor. Okay, so I'm just going to go through these real quick so we can get to the, get to the good box. Um, let's skip over. Have I Ultimate, not Ultimate Comic Spider Man, Ultimate Spider Man number one, uh, 9.4, that's not too bad. Ultimate Spider Man number two, 9.6, that's a little better. Uh, this is a decent book. Sandman number one, 9.4. Um, that's a pretty good book. I mean, this, and those three were just for a customer that he just liked those books and he wanted to uh, he wanted to start getting a couple things graded, so he sent those in. I think Sandman number one is actually pretty nice. Uh, this one, I mean, I knew it was rough, but Amazing Spider-Man 300, 5.0. Um, not the not, probably the lowest grade we've gotten so far, just on a random stuff. Yeah, I did Iron Man. 55 that came back a 7. That was the lowest grade before that. But again, it's a first Venom. Kid wanted it graded. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. The uh, 2008 series. 9.2, which is actually kind of surprising. I might have checked the grader's notes on that and see why that came back less than a 9.6 or 9.4 or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that one's for me. Sorry. Okay. Uh, got a. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, New Mutants 87. 9.4. That book's uh, heating up a little bit again. So that's pretty cool. This is kind of a neat book. Nice shape. Daredevil 168. First Electra. This would be the UK edition, 15 pence, and 9.2. Not too bad. Uh, so here's two books. This will be interesting. I'll probably, probably be arguing with the guy on that, but we had one guy send it in for a 9.8 pre-screen, and it came back rejected. So we just resubmitted it under into this invoice and get what you get. So that's probably this book, 9.6. And then the other one that we sent in for the store, 9.8. So there's a good one for me. And customers didn't do too bad. Other than that, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy was kind of shocking. This one I sent in for myself. I've had this book forever. I'll take it out of the bag. I've had it forever, and I know it goes for a little bit. And there was a little tiny ding on the spine, which I was kind of crossing my fingers for a 9.6, but... That's the uh, Venom Lethal Protector, the uh, non-foil variant. It's a printing error. Um, some of these books were printed with, without the red foil. There's just a little bit around the outlines. So it's basically a black cover. That came back in 9.8. So I am pretty happy with that because, I mean, the last time I checked, I don't know, I want to say they're like $1,500 or something. So I'll take a 9.8 on that. Just kind of crossing my fingers for a 9.6 or a 9.4. Okay, so that was just some stuff. The Venom is pretty cool. I think it's cool. Um, this was sent in by a customer. It was what his. It was part of his dad's collection. He only has a few books left. He had a small box of stuff from like the 50s and 60s. Nothing really great except for this book here. And we sent it in 
thinking, you know, well, a 2.0 would be good. Anything above a 2.0 is good. He's just looking to sell it. To raise some money from it for his mom. So this is for all the people that complain that we only send in modern stuff, which is a leg legitimate complaint, I guess, because that's all we do is send in modern stuff so far. Um, yeah, <laughs> he's going to be happy with that. We have Fantastic Four number one. Obviously, first appearance from Fantastic Four, etc., etc. Uh, 3.0. And when we, when we were talking about this book, I guessed everything on the, the 2.0 grade, because I knew it would be at least a 2. And, you know, 2s go for like 2,000 to 2,500. 2.5 probably goes for 2,500 to 3,000. A 3.0 probably goes for, you know, 3,000, 3,500, whatever. I haven't really checked because we didn't know the grade on it. But, anyway, it's a pretty nice book, considering that was the, you know, the rest of the stuff in the box, the most ex second most expensive book was probably a Spider-Man Annual One, which is like a hundred bucks or whatever, in that condition. So that book is for sale. If anybody is seriously interested in it, I mean, he's not going to give it away. That's why he had it graded. But if anyone's looking for an FF One, let me know, and uh, I'll talk to the guy. So anyway, that's it for today. I got like 90 books sitting in a pre-screen right now. I think they're being verified, whatever that means. So we should have those back hopefully, it's the 17th, Begin the end of the month, beginning of October. And we'll have another video then. Thanks.